one of the challenges uh, I face is convincing people, or rather explaining why I do what I do. Sometimes I'm a designer, sometimes I'm a, a woodworker, a craftsman, sometimes I'm an artist, and I would like to be all, a designer, a maker, and someone that makes something useful for people. My relationship with Timber is a very love-hate relationship. I love it because it's a very malleable, uh, tactile material. Then again, I sometimes hate it because it is also very volatile and it has its own moods. It changes due to temperature and the moisture where it is. It can expand, contract, it can twist and turn in unexpected ways. So you have to really be very careful with the type of timber you use for a specific project. Every piece I make has to last for a long time. Um, the intention is to have that piece passed down from generation to generation. Marketry is something that allows me to expand my design into more intricate details and pictures. I think I'm very fortunate to have found Marketry. I'm very fortunate to have found my love for making boxes and piecing the both of them together. I decided to use motifs of uh, lotus and uh, colours from uh, what you will normally see at a monastery in Bhutan, in that region. Then you put flowers here, we reverse flowers, so you have to double the petals on both sides. When I first started bookbinding in 2012, I needed a press of sorts to hold the papers together while I worked on it. So I asked Louis, I'm like, can you make me something that has like two pieces of wood and some screws so that it can just collapse the papers together while I worked on it? I tried making one for her. That's how it all started, that one press. When I finished that press, it was uh, very ugly, but I was very accomplished. I feel very empowered because I actually could make something and it was useful. I think the whole journey started when I wanted to make that ugliness beautiful. When Louis started woodworking, he focused very greatly on getting the techniques absolutely right. But as he progressed throughout the years, he has become more aware of artistic sense, design, and what his clients want. We do get into quite serious debates about design and how it works. It's good, bickering. And that 
helps me see what I don't see. We have our, our strong opinions about the things. We bounce ideas to and fro and it becomes usually very positive at the end. The smallest thing I've ever done is a ring box, which is for a proposal. And the largest I've ever done is a, a large wardrobe. And they're all in the form of boxes. To me, details are very important. Uh, there are so many things you can put in a box. For me, the most important part is to make sure that it has a wow factor. It's not just four sides and a lid. It could be in a form of design, it could be in a form of a secret compartment. The album box that was made um, was for a client who wanted a box to place his photo album. And part of my discussion with him, I offered to make secret drawer that could be opened with a little lever made from his cufflinks. I think one of the most special things about the box is that it seemingly looks like a cube. But when you open it up, it's a surprise. I think the biggest critique is first and foremost myself. Secondly, is anyone that sees my work. I could be making a humidor, for example, and it could be seen by top cigar collectors. And I need to prepare myself so that they have to scrutinize every single detail and it has to be correct. I think with every project that comes to me, every commission that comes to me, it is a learning experience. And I'm very thankful I have that opportunity to discover new things.